Hello, this video will show you how to easily prepare a reading list for your course using the TALIS Aspire platform. In the Course Materials and Reading List section on the library homepage, you will find a link to the TALIS Aspire platform as well as links to detailed instructions. Clicking on the TALIS Aspire button brings you to the platform's homepage where you log in using your CCID credentials. Once you are logged in, you will see your name beside the profile icon. First, you need to install the TALIS Aspire Reading Lists bookmarking extension. We strongly recommend that you use the Chrome browser when you are creating your reading lists. Click on Install Chrome Extension. In the Chrome Web Store, click on Add to Chrome and then Add Extension. Before you can use the extension, you need to associate it with our institution. Click on the Chrome P extension puzzle piece in the top right corner of your browser window. Pin the TALIS Aspire extension if you wish, and then click on the extension icon. Click on the down arrow beside Choose One, and scroll down until you find the University of Alberta. Select University of Alberta and click on Save. You can now close this tab and the extension is ready to use. In TALIS Aspire, click on My Lists. And then Create New List. Name your list in the same way as it appears in Bear Tracks. The description field is optional. Select a term and uh, click on create list. You now have a reading list. You can start adding resources to your reading list right away, but you may want to first create a structure that matches your curriculum or any other organizational structure that you prefer. Click on the Add Section button and give it a name. And you now have a section. <laughs> you can also um, add sections above, uh, subsections within it, or a new section below. You can also edit the title and description of the sections, delete sections altogether, or move them up or down as needed. Once you've created your structure, you can start adding your resources. There are several ways to do this, but the easiest and most efficient way is to use your TALIS Aspire bookmarking extension, which takes information from any page, web page, and adds it to TALIS Aspire. It does not matter what web page you are on. It can be a library catalog record, an ebook on a vendor platform, an article from a library database, or even an external website such as a YouTube video or the website of a publisher of a book you would like the library to order. Go to the web page for the assigned reading. In this case, a catalog record for a book we have in our collection. And click on the TALIS Aspire icon uh, extension. This opens up the manual bookmarking page in TALIS Aspire. Click on Create and Add to List. And in the pop-up window, confirm the list and the section you want to add the resource to. Uh, click on OK and TALIS Aspire creates a bookmark for the resource and adds it to the reading list. In a moment, you are returned to the web page you were originally on. Go back to your reading list and refresh the tab. And you should now see your resource. If it's not where you want it, you can easily move it. If you have special instructions for the library uh, or your students, you can add a note. 
For example, you might request to have a portion of a physical book digitized, per fair dealing guidelines, of course. Click on the menu dots and select the appropriate note. Add your note and click Save. You can add full text of an ebook or an online article in the same way as books from the catalog. On the web page with the full text, uh, again, click on the Talus Aspire extension. Since the item we're bookmarking is digital content, make sure that online resource is selected. Click on Create and Add to List, confirm the list, confirm the section. You can also add a note here at this point if you wish. We're going to tell the students to choose a reference from this article and read that one as well. Click on OK. Again, you'll be returned to the original um, website that you were on. You can also add um, uh, assign readings from a book that the library does not currently have in its collection. On the publisher's website, click on the Talus Aspire extension and in the pop-up uh, window, once you create and add to list, you can add a note to the library. Please order this book and add it to the course materials reserve shelves. Click on OK. When you go back to your list, don't forget to refresh the page. You can now see that the online article is accessible through this View Online button. Sometimes you do get little glitches. Don't worry about that. Um, once you've prepared your reading list, you click on this Review and Publish button, which alerts library staff to review your list. You will see a message that a review is pending and the library staff will ensure that all the metadata accurate and all links um, should they be there are working and if they're not supposed to be there they will remove them. In any case, um, if, if they have questions or if there are any copyright concerns they will email you directly to sort out the details and you will always receive an email confirming that your reading list has been reviewed. You can still add to your reading list and make changes. Just make sure that you remember to click review and publish again. All right, I would like you now to please watch the video on how to add uh, your, e your reading list to eClass, which is step six of our instructions page. If at any point you have questions or would like assistance, please email the course materials team or your subject librarian. Thanks for watching.